Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, week 10 in the college football season is over, and there were tons of great games and big results that are definitely going to shake up the playoff race, and let's break these games down. Now, Ball State beat Kent State on the road on Tuesday night, 27-20. to That was a good win for Ball State. And then Ohio beat Buffalo 45-24. to so that was a good win for Ohio. Nice MAC action on Tuesday. And then you had some more on Wednesday in Central Michigan, beating Northern Illinois 35-22. That was a good win. Then Bowling Green beat Western Michigan 13-9. So good win for both of those teams. Rice beat UTEP 37-30 on Thursday. And then Coastal Carolina beat Appalachian State 35-28. Big win for Coastal Carolina to potentially lock up the Sun Belt in their favor. Washington beat Oregon State 24-21 on Friday. Big win for Washington. Oregon State's had a great season so far. And Washington has as well, but Washington got the win. They could very well be ranked again. And then UConn beat Massachusetts 27-10. So good win for UConn. And Duke beat Boston College 38-31 in the ACC. And now Duke is bowl eligible, so good win for Duke. And on Saturday, a lot of the big results happened, and there were some big games again, tons of big results that could shake up the playoff race. Georgia beat Tennessee 27-13. to That hurts for Tennessee, but Tennessee's still a really good team, but going at Georgia is just really tough, and Georgia's defense just overwhelmed the Tennessee offense, and Georgia did really good in this game. And big win for Georgia will probably now be the number one team again. Ohio State beat Northwestern 21-7. to It was a windy uh, game, but it's still a good win for Ohio State to get the win on the road, and Northwestern's a really struggling team. At least they were kind of able to make it competitive. Notre Dame beat Clemson 35-14. to Probably the big result of the day for the playoff race for Clemson going down and could maybe knock them out of the playoff for sure. Great win for Notre Dame. Notre Dame's still a really talented team, and they got the win. Michigan beat Rutgers 52-17. to Good win for Michigan. It was kind of a close game until the third quarter, and they pulled away. LSU beat Alabama 32-31 to in overtime. Probably the game of the day with the excitement factor. LSU played fantastic, but Alabama just fell just short Bryce Young he was the Houdini again he played fantastic all game long but they fell just short Alabama's probably eliminated from the college football playoff but you never know and LSU maybe could have a chance even though they have two losses to sneak in the back door if they can win out but what a great game both teams are fantastic and it was a fantastic atmosphere in Death Valley and great win for the Tigers TCU 34, Texas Tech 24, TCU still undefeated, so good win for them. They're going to have to win out, obviously, if they're going to want to make the playoff, but TCU can definitely get there if they keep winning, so good win for them. Oregon won at Colorado 49-10, not a contest. Colorado's really struggling, a great win for Oregon. USC struggled against California 41-35, but they did get the win, so a win is a win, but USC is kind of struggling a little bit against some of the worst Pac-12 teams, but still, they got the win. UCLA won at Arizona State 50-36, to not a lot of defense in this game as well, just like the USC Cal game. UCLA is a good team, but they're not on the elite side because, again, when you cannot handle teams like Arizona State, it, it goes goes to show that maybe you're not as elite. So USC and UCLA do need to improve in that factor, but they did get the wins against Cal and Arizona State, so good win for both of them. Texas beat Kansas State 34-27. to Kansas State's a really good football team, but they just could not stop. B. John Robinson on the ground. Texas ran all over Kansas State, and Texas got the win. So, really good win for Texas, who's still a really good team. Utah beat Arizona 45-20. to Not really a contest there. Good win for Utah. Penn State beat Indiana 45-14. to Indiana's really struggling. They have fallen off after they won their first three games. And Penn State is playing really solid football outside of the top teams they played against in Ohio State and Michigan. They really played really well against Ohio State. Penn State's still a really good team. Michigan State beat Illinois 23-15. to Kind of a shocker here. Illinois has been playing really good football, but Michigan State, they got the win, and Michigan State's been playing some better football lately. North Carolina beat Virginia 31-28. to Close game, but North Carolina got the win. It's all that matters for them. Drake May still playing fantastic football, and very good win for Mac Brown's team. Oklahoma State is really struggling, and they lost again. Kansas beat them 37-16. to Oklahoma State, like I said, has really fallen off lately. They were playing really good football at the beginning of the season, but they were really struggling. Good win for Kansas to get bowl eligible for the first time in a long time. Very good win for Kansas, and they played fantastic in this game. Tulane beat Tulsa 27-13. to Tulane's having a great season, one of their best seasons since the 70s, and obviously Tulane could maybe make a New Year's Day bowl game if they keep winning. 
Pittsburgh beat Syracuse 19 to 9. Syracuse starting quarterback Garrett Schrader did not play. Their backup's really struggling, and Pittsburgh got a much needed win for them to maybe make a bowl game. NC State beat Wake Forest 30 to 21. Good win for NC State, even though Devin Leary is out, their backup quarterback that they put in as a freshman to replace their other backup quarterback. He played fantastic. MJ Morris, he played fantastic. Wake Forest with Sam Harvin, they put up a lot of yards, but not a lot of points, and they could not get the win. UCF beat Memphis 35 to 28. Good win for the UCF Knights, Gus Malzahn, he's got UCF playing really good football, and they're going to still be ranked this week. Good win for them over Memphis. Air Force beat Army 13-7. to Good win for Air Force to beat Army. Tough game with the Armed Forces. A lot of running on the ground, but Air Force found a way to win. Kentucky beat Missouri 21-17. to Good win for Kentucky. Missouri has been a lot better of a football team this year. They have not found a lot of ways to win a lot of games, but Missouri's been very competitive, so good win for Kentucky to win on the road. Florida beat Texas A&M 41-24. Texas A&M is having an awful season. They're 3-6, and probably done for making a bowl game. Florida's playing really good football. Uh, in some games, and some games have been bad, but they've been more consistent. Texas A&M and Florida could still make a bowl game, so good one for Florida. Minnesota beat Nebraska 20-13. to Nebraska is really struggling, and Minnesota handled business there. On the road, Iowa beat Purdue 24-3. So kind of a surprising result here that Iowa was able to completely shut down Purdue's offense, and Iowa was able to move the ball some. So good one for Iowa. Wisconsin beat Maryland 23-10. to Talia Tagovailoa has not looked the same since his injury coming back. Wisconsin was able to ground and pound, and they got it done, and they got the wins of going for Wisconsin. Western Kentucky beat Charlotte 59-7. to uh, They bludgeoned Charlotte. Western Kentucky at times has looked like the team that they were from last year, but at times they haven't, but they did really good in this game. So going for them. Georgia Tech beat Virginia Tech 28-27. to Going for Georgia Tech, who still can maybe make a bowl game. Virginia Tech's really struggling. Temple beat South Florida 54-28. Going for them in a high-flying affair. Marshall beat Old Dominion 12 to nothing. Marshall's beaten a lot of good teams this season. Old Dominion obviously has played spoiler in a couple of games as well, but going for Marshall. Baylor beat Oklahoma 38 to 35. A great win for Baylor. Baylor's playing really good football, and now they're bowl eligible. And obviously, Oklahoma's still going to have to win another game to be bowl eligible, but a really good game, really underrated game in the Big 12. Georgia State 42, Southern Miss 14, going for Georgia State. Louisiana Tech 40, Middle Tennessee State 24, going for Louisiana Tech. Washington State 52, Stanford 14. Washington State destroys Stanford. A lot of people, including myself, thought this would be a much closer game. But Washington State playing fantastic, and they could still make a bowl game for sure. Iowa State beat West Virginia 31-14. to West Virginia is really struggling going for Iowa State. Utah State 27, New Mexico 10 going for Utah State. UTSA 44, UAV 38, and double overtime. A good win for UTSA to get the win. Obviously, UAB and UTSA put up a lot of points in this game. Not a lot of defense, but UTSA found a way to win. Liberty 21, Arkansas 19. Another really surprising result. Liberty going on the road and winning at an SEC school. Arkansas has had an up-and-down season. At times, they've played really well, and at times, they've really struggled, and they struggled in this game as well. But going for Liberty and Hugh Freeze. Cincinnati 20, Navy 10 going for Cincinnati to bounce back after losing to UCF. Uh, South Alabama 38, Georgia Southern 31 going for South Alabama. North Texas 52, Ford International 14, not a close game there. Troy 23, Louisiana Lafayette 17. Louisiana Lafayette's obviously not as good without Levi Lewis and Billy Napier at head coach, so good win for Troy. Louisiana Monroe 31, Texas State 30, high-scoring game of going for UL Monroe. BYU 31. Boise State 28, another surprising result that BYU has been really struggling this season. Found a way to go on the road and win at Boise State. Have been playing great football, so really good win for BYU to stay in the hunt for a bowl. San Diego State 14, UNLV 10. Good win for San Diego State. Obviously, UNLV is really struggling, and San Diego State's been struggling as well, but they were able to win a low-scoring affair. So SMU 77, Houston 63, the exact opposite of the San Diego State UNLV game. This game was the highest scoring game of the day. SMU put up tons of points. Houston put up tons of points. Tons of yards in this game. Over 1,000 yards combined by far. Great game on offense. If, you, if you're a defensive football fan, this is not a good game to watch, but an offensive a uh, fan of football, then this was a great game and great win for SMU. Mississippi State 39, Auburn 33 in overtime, another really underrated game. Great win for Mississippi State. Auburn's really struggling, but they did put up a fight in this game without Brian Harson, the head coach, and they were competitive, so good 
uh, try for them, but a good win for Mississippi State. South Carolina, 38, Vanderbilt, 27. Vanderbilt still looking for their first SEC win in a long time. But now South Carolina is bowl eligible and good win for South Carolina. Louisville, 34, James Madison, 10. Good win for Louisville. James Madison's been a pretty good team this year, but Louisville's coming around and they're playing a lot better football. Florida State, 45, Miami, 3. Miami is not playing good football, and obviously Tyler Van Dyke's been banged up, and that's really hurt them. But great win for Florida State to beat their rival on the road like that. San Jose State, 28, Colorado State, 16. Good win for San Jose State. And Fresno State, 55, Hawaii, 13. Fresno State handled a struggling Hawaii team. So a lot of crazy results in Week 10 of college football. The playoff race is starting to shake out a little bit. Still a lot of things that can happen to keep teams from getting in or get teams and propel them to the top four. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Comment down below what you thought about Week 10 and about the biggest games in college football and the biggest results that are going to shake up the playoff race. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below, and I'll see you next time.